Becky. Welcome back to my channel. If you are already subscribed to me, if you're new, hey, I'm so glad you stopped by to visit me today. I am actually doing not a pack with me video because I already packed all this stuff, but I got some comments on my vacation plan video I did a few weeks ago and some people were asking to see what I packed. So I've already packed everything. I do have an older video where I show kind of how I keep all my packing lists organized and how I make sure I don't forget anything. Um, so if I remember, I will link that for you in the description box individually. If not, I will link my vacation planning playlist. So there's tons of Disney videos in there, but there's also some non-related, non-Disney related videos like that list video I was talking about. So today I'm going to show you my clothes that I have packed for our upcoming trip to South Carolina. We're going to Myrtle Beach and Charleston. Um, I'm also going to show you my toiletries that I'm bringing and the makeup that I'm bringing. So if you want to see what I am packing for our upcoming trip to South Carolina, then stay tuned. I am in my bedroom, which is where I set out all of the suitcases. And typically I pack one person each day as far as their clothes go. So I started with mine since I had everything of mine washed and ironed and ready to go sooner than everybody else's. So this is just my suitcase, nothing exciting no louis vuitton luggage for me um i just have my flip-flops in there and a shoe protector and then in this bigger pouch i have my socks and my underwear which i don't feel the need to necessarily show so that's in there nothing super exciting opening up on in the inside this trip was a little bit different normally we go to disney is our biggest trip of the year and our longest trip of the year even though we haven't been since 2019 for fairly obvious reasons um Normally, it's a pretty cut and dried trip. It's shorts and t-shirts every single day. This trip's a little bit different because it is a beach trip, so we needed a beach wear. Um, also, the weather is probably going to be a little bit more inconsistent than we're used to because we usually go on our vacation in May. This is October, so... And having never really been to South Carolina for any extended period of time, I wasn't really sure what to bring, so I did overpack a little bit, but I don't think it was too bad. So on this side, I have my um, water, like... I heard, what's it called like a water wicking hat it's for exercise or to get wet I showed this in my um, vacation haul video I just posted so I'll link that for you guys if you want to see it I do have two bras and then I'll have the one that I'm wearing on the way down there so three bras total for a week is plenty I also have my bathing suit top I will not be wearing it just like this I mean it's fine if that's what you want to do but that's just not me so I do have a rash guard to go over top of this with some board shorts. I am just, I don't know. I'm not about being too exposed for decency reasons, for confidence reasons, and also to protect myself from the sun reasons. So that's my main one. Um, and then I do have this backup one, which a different swim top with board shorts. It's a little bit too big. So I don't, I hope I don't have to wear these, but I wanted to bring it just in case that way I would have options. And then not knowing what the weather is going to be like, I'm bringing two sweatshirts and two pairs of jeans so that's that entire section and then i have these packing cubes that i have shown in previous packing videos i love them so basically i just have my shorts in this bigger one and at the very bottom i have two pairs of workout shorts because i they would be good if they got wet but like i don't really plan to swim in them but i thought they'd be an extra option if i may get a little bit like sea spray or something if we're on like the dolphin cruise or whatever. So I brought two pairs of workout shorts and then all my other shorts. And then when I pack my shorts and my shirts, I put them in order in the packing cube that I will wear them and with which shirt is gonna be the one to match. So unlike my husband, which drives me crazy because I pack for him and I plan which shirt goes with which shorts based on which ones match better. But then when he gets there, he just wears whatever random shirt with whatever shorts, which Drive me a little bit crazy, but that's his way of doing it, so that's fine. But like in here, like this pair of shorts on the top is meant to go with this shirt. And then the pair of shorts underneath that top pair is meant to go with the second shirt. And third shirt and fourth shirt, and so on and so forth, how that works. So that way I just pull off the top of each one of these, and I already know that's what I intended to wear together. It doesn't matter so much if it's like a plain colored shirt, but there are some shorts that I had that would not match certain other things. So I had to make sure that I had had them in order so I knew I was matching the right shirt with the right pair of pants, if that makes sense. But that's pretty much it. I have a pair of shorts and I think maybe two extra for every day. I've got two extra shirts on top of what I'm already planning on wearing each day. I've got the jeans and the sweatshirt. I will bring my raincoat and also my um, 
like my kind of, I don't know, we used to call them windbreakers growing up, but really it's just a, like a sweatshirt type of jacket. And that I'll, ha I'll bring that as well in case it gets cold at night or if we're inside a restaurant or something and it gets chilly. Other than that, everything for me fits in this kind of medium sized suitcase. I could put stuff up there in those other little pouches if I wanted to, but I don't think I need to. I will have a separate suitcase for my toiletries and my makeup and stuff because obviously that would not fit in here. Um, but other than that, that is everything I'm bringing clothes wise. And I will show you now what I'm bringing for my makeup and my toilet. Okay, so I showed you these two bags in my vacation haul. So they're all packed except for uh, a couple things in here that I can't put in just yet. So like my retainer, I think is about one of the only things and my tweezers. Other than that, everything is all packed. So I just have my little nail scissors and bobby pins and some hair ties and stuff in this little container. I have cotton rounds, my sonic toothbrush, my lip treatment, my moisturizer, my deodorant, and the claw clips that I use when I dry my hair out. And then I have my cleanser, my honest wipes, a little, um, well, I call them buff puffs because my mom used to use something like it when I was a kid, but it's basically like a little cleansing round that's like kind of scratchy, so it exfoliates. Eye makeup remover lotion, my eye makeup remover liquid, and then I have toner in there, and then I have two, there's actually two sets of contacts in there um, in case something goes wrong and like I tear one, a case and my blink contact drops, and that's that one. And then in the front here, I just have my uh, other, my manual toothbrush, my toothpaste, my floss, and that's where my retainer is going to go when I'm all done with that. This mirror is all broken apart, um, but I showed this in that haul as well. It's awesome and I can't wait to use it on vacation. So that, I'm going to put that with my clothes so that way it's got a little bit of padding. And then this bag I think is amazing. I showed it in that haul as well. And of course it matches the toiletry bag. But as you can see, I like to take full size things whenever possible. So most of the things in here are full size. I do have some laundry detergent in here. But I've got armpit wipes and shave gel and sunscreen and lotion and dry shampoo and contact solution and um, dish detergent. So if we need to wash the little dishes we're bringing, I've got a razor in there with two extra head, uh, refill heads, Q-tips, a thing of travel shampoo. This thing holds a lot and then it just drawstrings together like cinches up. And then when you get there, you kind of roll this down and you can leave it sitting on your cabinet in your bathroom like this in the hotel and it keeps everything organized uh, and accessible. So that is that. And then this is my makeup bag. I have several. Um, this is I think the first year I've used this as a makeup bag, but it's definitely holding everything. I'm bringing my Lorac Pro palette. My makeup brushes are in here. I have a beauty blender in there. I have my sunscreen, my under eye powder, shadow primer, foundation, liquid eyeshadow, and then two different concealers. I have my face powder, my bronzer, my blush, and my highlighter. And then in here, this is hard to do one-handed. I have two different kind of lip product thingies. I have a liquid liner, a brow pencil, a lip liner, eyeliner, my waterline eyeliner, my little pencil that I use underneath my eyes, I don't put eyeliner at the bottom of my eyes. I use this for kind of a softer look. I've got the two mascaras that I use and then clear mascara that I use for my brow. So that is all of the makeup and skincare products and toiletries and stuff that I'm bringing. This is probably going to be the world's ugliest thumbnail because I, I'm running out of time. I'm trying to get everything packed and I did not stop to take a pretty thumbnail. So we will see what thumbnail I can actually come up with with all of this stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I'm bringing for my clothes, for my makeup, and my toiletries. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.